Naples Tower, this is helicopter 357 Lima Hotel requesting upper taxi to spot Charlie with Alpha. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Skunk Works. This is Rob. Uh, this is video number three in our 120 SR uh, Beginner's Guide series. And today we're going to quickly be going over the uh, advanced swash plate setup, uh, which you may have heard of. And it's a really simple process. The pur purpose of it is to uh, make your helicopter more responsive and more agile. And I would suggest doing this modification only if you're a beginner uh, with the 120SR or any other helicopter, but particularly this one. Uh, if you've flown it for a while on the high rate mode and you feel that you're good with it now and you're ready to move on, then go ahead and do this modification. Uh, you'll get more responsiveness out of your helicopter. Okay, we'll start out. The advanced swash plate modification is really very simple. I'm going to zoom way in here to show you exactly what we're after and what we're going to be doing. Okay, so what we're after, what we're going to be working with on the heli are these two pitch links right here. This pitch link connects to the upper half of your swash plate. This pitch link here and this pitch link over here. These pitch links are currently on the shorter arms of the swash plate. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop them off and move them over here to the longer links on the swash plate, which is going to give it more control. It's going to give it more thrill, more pitch as the swash plate moves. Okay, so the way that you want to start out with this is you want to remove your canopy first off. It'll make it a lot easier. You do that by just simply pulling, there's four black grommets, two here and two on the other side. You pop those off. Just gently pull them off like this. And to make it a little simpler while you're doing this, turn the helicopter towards you. You'll see why in a minute. It just gives you more room because there's less uh, interference of movement on this side of the helicopter. I'm going to zoom back in again. I'm going to try and get this as best as I can so you can really see it without moving the helicopter. This is going to be the tricky part. All right, now to turn this this way for just a moment. Um, to pop these links off of the balls is really pretty simple. I mean, you can just use your fingernail. Um, some people would say to use ball pliers, but I don't really think you need that for this. They come off and pop off pretty easily. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking and putting my fingernail, trying to get this so you can see it as best as possible. I'm putting it on there and I'm just going to gently push. Okay, so that one's off of there. Now I'm going to turn the rotor, do the same thing with the other side, put my fingernail under and gently push it off of the ball link. I'll do it from this way, maybe you can see it better. Okay. So you can see that our two, <coughs> our two linkages are off of here, all right? Now what we're going to do is you want to take your swash plate and you want to turn it so that these linkages are pretty much lined up with the longer sets of ball links here and here. And we're just going to push them on there. So just make sure that uh, your linkages are still in these uh, guides here bring it down. Let me do this from the other side so the camera can see it and you can see it. You may have to fiddle with it for just a bit but get that lined up. Okay, now it's lined up and I'm just going to very gently push the linkage onto the ball link like that. And by the way, if you should push a little bit too hard and overshoot 
You want to make sure it's actually on the ball link, guys. If you should actually accidentally overshoot and it goes a little bit further, just give it a little back pressure. Push it back a little in the opposite direction, gently, and it should pop right onto the ball link. Okay, now we're just going to do the same thing with the other side. So I'm going to turn this. Now I've got room. You'd probably be able to see this one. You'd probably be able to see this one go on better. So I'm going <clears> to, <throat> excuse me, line that up. I'm just using my thumb and giving a, a little pressure straight on and pop. It's on there. So that's the advanced swash plate made simple guys. Real easy to do and you will now have a more agile and more responsive 120 SR. That's it for uh, this video. Uh, next time I'm going to be giving you some tips and tricks for the 120 SR to uh, get even more out of it. So uh, until next time, Rob from Helicopter Skunk Works. Happy flying and take care.